Thank you, thank you so much for coming. I'm Joshua Finkel. I'm the director and the creator of the a and Performers Workshop. Which is where you are yes! And the, the Performers Workshop is a two a two tiered program. Uh, this is level one. There's also advanced level two that concentrates on an intensive program for musical theater actor performance training in uh, audition and performance technique. And what you are here for tonight is the end of the second 10 week session and that concentrates in specialty material and cabaret performance and the class is called Getting Your Act Together and here we are. So thank you for coming to the cabaret, old chums. To me, um, cabaret, the genre of cabaret, or the, the whole medium of it is wonderful because it's unlike any other kind of musical theater performance. It really breaks the fourth wall. It lets you really interact with the performer and vice versa. And I find the most intriguing cabaret is that which, um, where the performer really shares their personal truth, their dreams, what tickles them, what frightens them, what they wonder about. And so the most satisfying cabaret is when you walk away and go, wow, I really know a lot more about this person than when I first started. And that's what you're going to hear tonight. We went through a, an intensive process where all the actors would journal every day or every week kind of like the morning pages, if you know the artist's way. And from that, we would keep starting to find like what was coming to the top, what themes or what kept resurfacing, what huge experience happened or what happened now that reminds me of something from my past. And as a way to sort of discern what your truth, what the eight minute cabaret set will become. Then we did several exercises in learning how to take established material and turn it into specialty material that would feed your act. And that's what you're going to see. Each person is going to do an eight minute fantastic cabaret set. Everyone completely different because it's coming from their own truth, their own experience. There's no stock kind of formulaic Hollywood ending here. Everyone's completely raw, completely real. It's wonderful. So I thought because I'm, I'm here in the hot seat first, um, I'll tell you a little bit about me. Um, well, let's see, I, I am a, a Broadway actor, I'm a, a director, and I'm an acting coach. Um, I have my master's in classical theater, and so I'm really lucky, I'm so lucky to work with all these wonderful performers, and I'm and I so lucky to work between all three of these mediums, really. Um, but what that does, I think from having an actor's mentality, is it's really hard to say no. So you think, I'll never work again, I have to take every job, I have to do everything all the time. And so what happens is it feels like everything starts stacking on my plate and I just like I'm just, you know, like a dishwasher in a kitchen at the end of the night, just looking over tons of dishes and trying to keep afloat. That's what it feels like. But and, um, oh I'm also a father of my cat Mojo. It's very demanding. Um, so, you know, there's just kind of a, a, a lot, a lot going on. But um, this year I try to uh, make a statement for myself. I try to make a plan to say I'm going to clear my plate. I'm going to take time for myself and start to say no to things so I'm not working 19 hours a day, maybe only down to 12, so I can have time for things like, you know, I don't know, eating, sleeping, or breathing. I feel so much more alive when I breathe. Do you? It's just really wonderful to have life goes through me. So, um, <laughs> and I realize, in, in, in doing that and setting this whole thing up tonight, I realize I have not even had one time to sort of tell my actors their pre-show speech that I normally do. I, we've been so busy putting this whole thing together and sound checking and setting all this up for you guys. I'm so glad you guys are here, but I, I want to just take a time to uh, 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 sort of clean them in. And maybe it's, it's a good thing for you guys too, because you can get, get a sense of how the class works and some of the lingo that's shared back and forth. And so uh, actors, if you would be so kind, just listen up and take some last minute advice. Take your time, exercise your voice, make a solid choice, just see it, feel it, and share, breathe the air, and say, today I'm a new man, a man who's concerned to clean off his plate, to make some time for sleeping, to focus on the details. Today I'm a new man who lives in an unperturbed state. Oh my
like that, I'll never get this done. This 50,000 things to do, and still I haven't had a decent cup of coffee. I'm an idiot for always saying yes. Who would say yes when I already have a claim? And I'm skidding towards the grave for the grave of my son headed. If I stage another musical, teach another master class, or eat another power bar, just one more, and I'm not being funny. Maybe four, because I do need the money, but no more. I am not going crazy today. the goal, keep it in control, just press your foot to the gas, and your nerves will pass. Seven in the morning and the cat's already clawing at me, eight a.m. and I have yet to look at my new mail. My energy is dropping off a faint. Why am I faint? Because I forgot to eat a smoothie that I made. So now I'm driving down the freeway with a phone stuck to my ear. Slurping happy melted smoothie in the carpool lane alone. That's the end. I am not going crazy. Fuck that trend. I am not going crazy. I'll transcend. I am not going crazy. Work. So much work. It's a circus with so much more to do. Old and new. Packing everything in tight. Doing plays. Cabarets and two crazy industrials a week. Code technique, I sleep four whole hours a night. Take your time. Oh my god, the day has just begun. Clear your mind. Who said the performing arts are fun? I am not going crazy. Reach for that glass of water. No, I'm not going crazy. Remember, no regrets. You gotta run. when you are doing that number. Note to self. I, uh, I want to thank a uh, wonderful, wonderful New York writing team who wrote that song with me, Kate Kerrigan and Brian Loudermilk. They're fantastic. They're wonderful.